All right. I wanted to give you guys an overview of the uh, transition relay, which I had looked at for a long time. And until recently, it was out of my price range, but the price dropped and I ended up going with the Alloy GX PNW version, which was just at 5,600 US. So I rented one for my son, who's about 13, and we hit the road. So I'm going to show you how it climbs, particularly on one of the more infamous fire roads right here is a, a climb that takes you right to the top of the towers, uh, an area where Evolution and, uh, gosh, Mohawk, a um, few other of my favorite trails start. And you can just see here, this is not sped up. Uh, this is real time and for me this is quite a bit faster than I would normally be able to climb this so I was really happy with the ability of this bike to basically change my experience here at Galby or Galbraith there in Bellingham Washington and what it did was open up a bunch more laps so essentially instead of doing two maybe three laps due to the climbs and being gassed this allowed me and my son to do quite a bit more so here we are right at the top of evolution feeling a lot better after watching some of the locals hit areas like the intro into scorpion right here we decided to take evolution's entrance right over to mohawk which is my son's favorite area to ride so i had demoed him one from transition at the same time that i bought my bike so he and I were for the basically first timers on e-mountain bikes on this day. So this just kind of shows how we we're able to climb around. And I don't know if you can hear the tiny sound from the motor. It It's a little bit more audible when you're actively pumping into it. But um, at the end of the day, like it was it, it felt very much like a normal ride with a little bit extra boost on the climbs you, and i thought that the bike would feel quite a bit heavier maybe not be quite so nimble in the turns uh here we are on mohawk and i i can say compared to my normal bike which is a, a yeti sb 150 nice. so an enduro bike with a fair bit of slack uh the geometry of the relay is not terribly far off which is why i liked that bike at least on paper and i ended up really liking it uh, after buying it and you know trialing it out this day it doesn't feel as heavy as i thought it might on some of these types of runs you know going through uh, berms um yeah it just felt it felt pretty normal to be honest uh if you really thought about it you might notice the weight but uh cruising around you don't notice any difference here we are just at the bottom of mohawk heading over to the area which is unemployment line which is we're about to jump into here so um just taking that intro you know the entrance area just like normal um all i can say is that the bike really opened up more of a day for me we were able to do maybe five laps up and down compared to two or three and put on quite a few more miles than we would otherwise after that, it's just really a joy. I enjoyed the heck out of this bike. I know my son wants one right now as well. I don't know that we're necessarily going to bite the bullet and get him a second bike, but I had, uh, you know, I got a little raise at work the, the day before, and then these went on sale. It was just enough to push me over the edge, if I'm just being honest with you. I'd looked at them for about a year, and I thought, oh, wouldn't that be nice? I even looked at a few used ones and almost pulled the trigger on, on one. Um, but then these went on sale and I just thought, well, I'll get one of my own. That way it carries the warranty and everything straight out of the factory. Uh, for what it's worth, what it comes with, it comes with, uh, of course, the, the normal battery and, and the bike, as you might expect. Uh, it comes with a charger. There's a couple different ways to charge it. You can take the battery out and plug it straight in. I don't know if it charges a little bit faster that way. Or you can use like a USB-C charger that goes right into, I think, the top tube area. Um, where you can see the charge amount and um, yeah so it charges pretty quickly I, I drained it this day we were basically seeing how long uh, the battery would last and what was interesting is is the battery lasted quite a bit longer for my son who probably weighs about 110 pounds uh, on the high side I weigh right around 190 so what pretty much drained the battery for me uh, took his battery to probably 40% charge. So depending on how you ride, you know, that's the old, um, you know, the way of talking about it is like, well, nobody wants to make claims about what kind of elevation climb or how long the battery will last. And that makes sense. Um, 
because people ride quite a bit differently and depending on the amount of boost there's three levels of boost there's kind of a green low level there's a blue mid level and then there's kind of a pinkish purple uh, full boost and of course the more full boost you use the the more quickly you're going to drain that battery but uh, we stayed on kind of green to blue most of the time until the, towards the end of the day when our legs started to get a little bit more gas than we used uh, a little bit more of the full boost on the real steep climbs towards the top near the towers there. But uh, other than that, we tried to conserve as much better as we can while still using, you know, the e-bike feature. And all I can say is that uh, I still got a heck of a workout in. I really was gassed. It looked, I'll put the stats up at the end here, but I think we did about 17 miles and 3,500 elevation climb. And it was a full day workout. It just basically allowed me to pretty much double the amount of miles that I would otherwise be capable or comfortable doing. Now I'm just a regular guy. I work a, you know, 95, nine to five and, uh, and, you know, mountain biking is kind of a hobby, so I don't take it as seriously as some other people. Uh, it's definitely a, 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 a fun hobby. I'm almost 40, you know, so a bike like this is a nice add-on. I don't know that I would get only this type of bike. Um, it was just a, a nice add-on to my other bikes that I have. And uh, here we are with the, uh, with the total amount of stats from the day. So uh, at the end of the day, you can see on my, my bike on the right, pretty much charge depleted my son's on the left was about halfway and then we turned our bike in at transition we did the stuff that you do at transition and that was a day so we loved it hope this was helpful